If you're watching this video, then congratulations, you're about to join the wonderful world of Ravensbourne University. My name is Jay, I'm an editing and post-production student, and last year I had to go through the wonderful world of enrolment. However, because I have no sense of time management, I left it until the last minute, which meant I was screaming, crying, and wondering how on earth I was going to hand in my paperwork. Now, I don't want this to happen to you, so in this video, I'm going to be laying out the simple steps to follow for enrolment, so you will be ready to start Ravensbourne in September. First things first, if you have been accepted, then very soon you will be receiving an email. This is just an online form asking you to fill out some personal information we need, including your name, a photo for your ID, and any other personal information we might need. If you have any immigration documents, we may need to see them to see you're eligible to study in the UK. Oh, and we may need some other form of ID, including birth certificates or anything with a photo. Yeah, I know this sounds like a lot, but wait until your first lecture. That's where the real info comes in. Number two, UCAS offers. If you have a UCAS offer, make sure you accept it as soon as possible. Do not leave it till the last minute because I did, and that didn't go well. If you haven't confirmed your place through UCAS, make sure to contact admissions as soon as possible. That way we can get you all set up and ready to get the ball rolling. Student finance. Oh god, here we go, even hearing the phrase student finance triggers me nowadays. If you're anything like I was with student finance, the phrase, oh, I'll do it later, comes to mind quite a bit. Trust me when I say, that didn't go well. I cannot stress enough, please make sure your student finance is in place before the start of term. If you need any help with any of it whatsoever, make sure you contact either student finance or you contact the university. We will do our best to help you. Right, you've done all these, this is where the fun begins. You're about to be invited to a Zoom call. Between you and me, trust me when I say Zoom is going to change your life. This is just have a quick chat to confirm who you are and prove you're not Jason Bourne or James Bond. You'll then have another chat with student services and during this you'll have a conversation if there's anything physically or mentally you may need help with during your studies. Trust me when I say student services are there to help. Take anything you need from them. If you manage to get through all of these steps without ripping your hair out like I did, then congratulations! You'll be receiving an email to activate your Ravensbourne email, and which will also sign you up to every service we offer. Trust me when I say there's a lot. We have a virtual library that I had no idea about until a few weeks ago, so check out all the books you want. And just like that, you're a Ravensbourne student. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to our university as we'll try and help you as much as we can. And make sure you're ready for freshers. Even though the world is a strange place at the moment, we're trying our best to bring you the best week we can. So have fun with admissions, make sure everything's handed in on time and stay safe. I'll be seeing you all very soon.